Welcome to another Cepheus Protocol update, folks. It's been a while since the last one. It was at the end of June, I think the 28th of June. And we're today on the 15th of August. So yeah, it's been a little while since we had an update. But that does not mean that the developers have not been busy. But because let me tell you, they have been really, really busy. I am so amazed at how much they're doing for the game at the moment. It's absolutely crazy what they're just shooting out of fixes and improvements to the game. Uh, really hats off to the developers of the Cepheus Protocol on that. We are coming up on the factions update, which will see us getting the police and the civilian factions, which will be very interesting. I think it will change the dynamic of the game quite a bit, uh, as we won't be able to maybe be as aggressive as, as we used to be going very aggressively up north and taking a lot of zones of control to increase our income. I think that will probably be kind of taken off the table because of the two new factions who will be fighting against both us and the infected. The factions update is set out, set to come out in the end of August, or I believe the 28th of August is the target date, but uh, it is a big update, so if there's a bit of delay, I won't be surprised and I will happily accept a bit of delay on the factions update because the developers are just so amazing in what they're doing and I'd rather have a really good update than one that's maybe uh, very very buggy so uh, if the devs decide to push the faction update I'll fully support that uh, because yeah better get quality than just rushing something out there now we will be starting a new playthrough because we're coming up on the factions update uh, rapidly. Uh, I'll be starting a new playthrough tomorrow on the 16th of August, uh, just to kind of brush up on the game before we head into the factions update at the end of August, uh, so that we are ready and uh, able to get going fast with the factions update. Now. Between the 28th of June, when my last update video came out, and today, the 15th, there have been a lot of updates. And just to go over a few of them, uh, there's been a big revamp to a lot of the uniforms, and the unit cards have been updated, so they look a little cooler, in my opinion. And one of the really big updates is the introduction of vehicles, where they have initially introduced a scout car, Though I don't believe scouting is really that big a deal in the game because we have the infrared, but the scout car is a fast way of transporting soldiers across distances. Three soldiers can uh, ride along in the car, and plus the driver. And I think the, the scout car is going to be really useful. Uh, I have a, it, it looks a little bit like the Flintstones car at the moment because the soldiers legs are hanging out so it looks like they're uh, running it along but I'm sure that, that there will be an update uh, to that so that it doesn't look like the Flintstones have taken on treasure islands. Uh, in the car the units can shoot but it's worth noting that at speed they have reduced accuracy which makes sense. If you're moving fast, you won't hit as much, probably, right? So, uh, yeah, very, very cool introduction to vehicles with the Flintstone Scout car. Also, there have been other improvements. So the spotlights now show where their light will be cast when you're placing them down, uh, which is very nice. I do hope, though, that they will change it a little bit so that the lights can overlap because right now you can't place overlapping lights, which doesn't really make sense. But I suppose it's probably something to do with performance and having them overlapping and stuff like that. It means that they can't really overlap at the moment, and that is just fine. Also, there has been uh, some improvements to the fog of war, better visualizing what you can see, what you can't see, and the landmines have improved. So they do quite a bit more damage now, it seems, and the explosions look really cool. Also, 
the AI has had uh, a quite significant update. I'd say uh, the, uh, the AI has gotten a lot better. The infected will now try to form up in the uh, in hordes uh, better and or split up as the situation warrants it. So they've got a little bit more intelligent, the infected, you might say. And also Chelsea Trader will send out infected to try and defend a zone that is being attacked uh, over a significant amount of time. So if you're taking a long time to, say, to take a zone of control, she will send out infected to support that zone of control and try to get you to back off. So I think that's pretty darn cool. Now, visually, the game has also had some major, major updates. The entire uh, marina zone where, uh, or the, the, the fair zone, you might say, it has been uh, given texture now. Before, it was just big blobs of some something's going to be there, but that has all been filled in and it looks really cool. There's a big ferris wheel. There's uh, raised walkways between the buildings where you can actually set your soldiers up on the walkways so that they're off the ground and better defended against the infected or police or civilians that are attacking. So the infected will have to run around and find some stairs to get up to you. And I think that's pretty darn cool unless they make them jump other than the, the big mutated guy who can't jump now. But I don't know if he can jump up on the walkways actually. We'll have to see. Also, uh, the beach zone has been given a pretty big overhaul. There's a lot of buildings now on the beach, buildings that you would normally have on the beach, like uh, a small bar or a rental or something like that. It looks like that to me. And also the southern part of the island, the especially the villa area, where the infected are initially on the south part of the island, has been given a big overhaul. There are a lot of uh, buildings in there now. It looks really cool. And also there has been added quite a bit of water, uh, which changes the layout of, of the southern part of Treasure Island quite a bit. And I think it's a really good change. So yeah, there is a lot going on. And of course, tons and tons of bug fixes uh, that have been introduced uh, for pathing and for getting soldiers stuck and stuff like that. So yeah. Just amazing work from the developers, in my opinion. So, yeah, that was basically all for the update, but don't forget, we're starting a new playthrough tomorrow, the 16th. I'll put a card on the video a couple of places once the first episode goes up. And I can tell you now that it doesn't go as well as the first episode of season four so we're starting on season five now season four what went better and i think we can attribute that to the improved ai but anyway i hope that you found this video useful and if you did why not show me by leaving a like and i'd also love to hear your comments what do you think of the updates that are coming out what do you think of the improvements the developers are doing what would you like to see in the game all that kind of stuff. I'd love to hear it. And yeah, just hit that like button, guys. And uh, come check out season five of Cepheus Protocol tomorrow. Thanks for watching. See you next time.